In a backdrop where one generator of the Norochole coal power plant has already been put out of commission due to an essential repair, the second generator has also been deactivated due to a mechanical failure. Accordingly, the maximum capacity of 900 megawatts that can be supplied to the national grid through this power plant is now limited to 270 megawatts. We have taken steps to repair it as soon as possible. It will be convenient to do the repairs of the Norocholi plant using the 10 or 12 units we get as electricity is produced in full capacity from the Samanal Vava Reservoir. Due to this, electricity generation is being carried out in full capacity through all power plants operating under the Ministry of Power and Energy. The amount that we are no longer able to produce from the Norocholi plant is being covered by the Samanal Vava Reservoir. In a backdrop where the electricity supply from the Samanalavava Reservoir has also been limited for a few days, the second generator of the Norochole power plant was also put out of commission. Once electricity generation from the Samanalavava is concluded in another few days, it will be possible to provide electricity to the southern province only through the emergency purchase of electricity from the private sector. Now, although there is sufficient supply in the national grid, this situation has arisen as the transmission system that connects the southern province has not yet been linked to the national grid. What is the situation that would arise now that two generators of the Norochole power plant have been put out of commission? Attention was paid to this matter in Parliament today. I must point out that the issue regarding the supply of electricity to the southern province can be solved to a certain extent if the power line that comes from Umaoya to Ambalangoda is put to use. The issue brought up by parliamentarian Vasudevanana Akara has been around for five to six years now. The length covered is about 150 kilometers and compensation had been paid to over 2,500 people. However, in one part of the final stage, the owner of the land disagreed with the amount assessed by the government. They have agreed to have a discussion with the Public Utilities Commission on the 11th of August. We hope they will give their approval on the 11th. In that case, it would take only four days to settle the matter. If so, we would be able to reduce the amount of electricity to be purchased. The transmission line, which is 150 kilometers long, cannot be connected to the national grid due to a 650 meter stretch near the house of a person named Artigala. It has been about two or three years now. If this stretch can be connected, electricity or water can be supplied from Lakshapana to Hambantota. There would be no issue there. However, now there is another party that we all know of, Ace Power. The CEB still has the plant under it, even after their agreement has expired. The owner of that plant knows that there are only two places below Balangoda, which can be used to supply electricity to the south, either the Samanalabava or Ace Power in Ambilipitiya. So if electricity cannot be supplied from the Samanalabava, it will have to be done through Ace Power. If plans were made in March, tenders should have been called for this way before. When are you planning on calling for tenders? So what will be done now? Power will have to be supplied from Ace Power in Ambilipitiya. It is frequently being said that we only purchase the essential amount of electricity through the emergency purchases. I must make it clear that we do not do emergency purchases. The solution is not to provide police and army security to the houses of the ministers. If the problem in Siripagam is solved, in four days electricity can be supplied to the south through a transmission line with no issue. One should be brave to solve this issue of Siripagam which has been around for three years. The Cabinet of Ministers has approved the allocation of 4 billion rupees for emergency purchases due to the dry spell of weather. Honorable Chairperson, this situation was predicted. There was plenty of time to plan the purchase of electricity. It is only when all reservoirs are dried up that the Cabinet of Ministers say that unless emergency purchases of electricity are carried out, the entire country would be in darkness.